This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, thinking I should zoom out a little bit more. That is a 14 by 14 inch canvas. That is my Oxo Omelette Turning Flip and Fold Spatula that I use to spread paint. That's the paint spreading tool that I know of. And I am going to give myself a bit of a sky to start with. And I'm going to use some French silk and some Chantilly lace. to help other colors flow. In this case, I'm going to put some of those other colors right in. So this is some sour lemon and some orange crush. This is some shiny taffeta. a little piece of block in it. Here's some actual sour lemon. This is some Tuscan Sun with Orange Crush which is probably really similar to that other color but not identical. Since I have some Orange Crush to use up I think I'm just going to do that. Now I've got other colors I want to go in this sky, but for right now, I think I'm going to add one more color. I think I'm going to go back and add some Chantilly lace. And use my Passion, which is a primary elements pigment powder. This is mostly fun at this point. Let's put some Violet Rose in there too. Take some of that paint, bring it right over to this edge. The same on this side. Actually, I'm going to go right up the edge with that color. And since I have plenty of it on my spatula, I'm going to go over the top too. Just pick up from some of those puddles. And then right along the edge. I think everything's going to blend. At least I hope it will. Do the same thing right here. Can I always go back and add some more of the passion. I'm going to use my mixed colors up at the top. Notice that I, the spatula will keep a blade of paint on it. I don't want to overwork the paint. So as soon as it lands in the spot, that's the spot I'm going to work it from. Now I have way more paint than I expected, which is kind of cool because it gives me an opportunity that I wouldn't have had if I hadn't figured that part out. To go down a little further. more fully utilize the rest of that paint. Still going back and checking my edges. Now when I go back again like, like I just did, I want a really light touch. And I'm still getting all kinds of paint <laughs> from that lot. So I maybe overdid it a little bit. But it will give me the opportunity that I'm hope that I was thinking about, which is to use some. There's my tweezers. Um, some Aussie Floetrol and some other colors in the bottom, and see if I can make some celly texture come out. And I'm not complaining about these colors a bit because I think they're gorgeous. They're exactly what I wanted. 
with the possible exception of wanting a little more pink in the center section. So I'm taking chances going back over it again. I just eradicated something I liked and then brought something else I did. Yes, okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to stop myself soon. The question is, do I really want to stop before I get my pink stripes back? And the answer to that is definitely a resounding no. So I'm just going to clean off my spatula in the spaces that I haven't completely filled down here and then try and drag the rest of that paint down. Making sure my top is pretty well covered. Yes it is. So, note to self, mind the amount of paint you use. <laughs> So whatever's in the bottom is just going to be paint that'll help other paint flow to it. And it might facilitate this going by quite quickly. I'm not sure what to do about that right there. I often think about, yes, putting clouds in with uneven, yes, spatula marks. And I like that. And I'm not unhappy I did it. Aside from the fact that it got me some more paint. And I'm within my time limit. I don't need to worry about the bottom yet, I don't think. But I do need to put some paint down there and rapidly so I can do what I said I was going to do. Not sure about that one little line. And I lost my pink stripe again. Again. Do I put it back? I do. <laughs> Just take that residual paint right off. Okay, so far so good. It is what it is. I'm not going to worry about it. Now I have to decide what goes at the bottom, and I think we're going to talk deep amethyst, which might not be great with black. Let me think about this for a minute. I want some fandango. How about a little bit of Black iris. I've got a new color from yesterday, which is a new uh, primary elements, which is blue flame. These are odd colors. I want something like bonfire. It's been a while since I used any bonfire. And it'll go with the top quite nicely. So what shall we use to go across? I think I'm going to use up the paint that I've got. And just try it. Like that. Right here. Put a little gold in there if I left myself room for it. Thought I opened that, but I guess I didn't. I think the only thing that could make that better would be to add some trees. And I'm not sure I can do that today. I might have to do that tomorrow. But we are getting some really cute little cells. Some neat colors showing through. And that little blue thing that I have no idea what is on the horizon. 
but I want to try my tweezers and add a few trees. Maybe through that blue thing I want to see gone. I don't know how they'll how they'll stay with that wet paint, but it's a really simple concept, and I'm gonna have to turn it around and shimmer it at you to show you. But as long as I've got a little paint left on my spatula and a little bit of paint in the, I'm in need of a little paint in the, on the bottom. Not a lot. That's all about the sky. And I almost don't have any canvas showing through at the top. So that was kind of fun. That's an experiment I wanted to do for a while. Okay, I'm not sure what that's supposed to look like, but everything seems to have fallen into place quite nicely. And uh, my little trees are kind of cute. I got four minutes left, and I'm going to try and shimmer this at you. Ooh, sparkly sky. Very pretty. It does look like I have one line of demarcation that I really don't want. I see another one. Lightest touch possible. Now if I get striations in my sky, so be it. Clouds are... Clouds will do what they want. So will I right now. So anything that's abnormal from what it was a moment ago is a cloud. And I'm treading on dangerous ground because it's gone a little gloppy. But I think I escaped fairly well unscathed. I love you guys. Check out some of my 2500 videos. They're, on, they're available by going to my playlists on my YouTube channel and then looking for all playlists, created playlists. This reminds me of another, oh, those sparkles like diamonds down there. I'm gonna have to look for any little bubbles or any little anythings. Is a bird. No, it's a plane. No, there's paint chips. which are dangerous when you have any kind of white in the background because every time you pull up you risk exposing something else you don't want. Anyway, let me pull those trees up. And I have a shadow of something in my sky that I don't want. But I think it's going to be fine. We'll zoom out again. Sorry about that. <laughs> Check out my link tree. It's underneath show more under the video. Check out the 20% off color art coupon code. That'll get you primary elements or prism pores or some of those wonderful tools or resin or all kinds of stuff that they have there. I got it. Whatever it was. So, I will see you guys anon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida. Don't forget the thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I'd really appreciate that. When you watch longer, you help me out. I do give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, and I do sell my artwork, or at least I used to. My email address is EASPB, and the word gallery spelled out, at gmail.com. 
On my link tree, you'll find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, and Facebook group. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and Moors for shopping places like Spring Clothing that's also below the video. Society6, um, Le Gallerist, Clothing Made in Montreal. My Amazon link has my two books on it, Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. And if you shop there, it's at no matter cost to you. And I could use a little help if you want to shop there. That would be very appreciated. Those of you who do, thank you very much. Um, thank you for your kind words and your comments. And if you make a donation to help support the production of videos at the studio, you'll have an opportunity to have a 15-minute session, consultation, whatever, for 30 days after that donation is made. And I'm hoping to bring back drawings again, but I'm not sure when that's going to happen yet. I've just changed my post time to 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon. It used to be noon. I will see you guys anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Beautiful.